Hey YouTube, this is your girl Silent here. Um, just checking in on y'all. Sorry that I've been away, y'all, but um, I'm back doing a video. <laughs> uh, just checking in. Um, I want to see how y'all doing and everything. Sorry if I seem kind of drained or if I repeat myself. I just got off from work, so um, and honestly, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. My energy level is just it's gone, but um. I wanted to tell y'all what's been going on with me and everything. Um, uh, right now, though, a lot of stuff is going on in the world. We got this stuff in Japan, the disaster in Japan, um, which is horrible. And by the way, if you can donate in any way and stuff, um, just, you know, do so. Because it affects all of us. It really does. It, it affects all of us. Um we got the stuff in Japan. We got the Wisconsin thing. The Charlie Sheen thing. I'm not even going to talk about the Charlie Sheen thing because I wish they would leave the man alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has, it's obvious that he has no friends or few friends. I'm sorry because that's a horrible world to live in too. It is just a horrible world to live in. But um, I'm not even, I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. I ain't going to talk about it no more. But I'm just going to say what's been going on with me. Um, not that long ago, just finished doing um, a short film with um, with some friends that turned out to be really good. So we're just like, we're on our grind and stuff right now doing um, um, film work and stuff. And it's just, it's a fun thing. You know, it's a fun process and stuff. Um, I did that. And... Um, I just had, I was presented, um, an opportunity to do some work, um, on the West Coast. Um, well, I can't say it was like, um, I didn't get off, I, I had an interview, I'll just say, I had an interview on the West Coast, um, and I haven't told a lot of people this, but I guess everybody will know now if you've seen my videos, but, um, yeah, I had an interview on the West Coast, and it turned out to be, in my opinion, it was very, it was really good. Um, I'm still, I'm just waiting to hear back from them right now. Um, because the way the company works is like, when they get work, then they will call you to, to, um, you know, to, to get on the project or whatever. Um, it's a great company. It's, um, it will be a fantastic opportunity for me. Um, and I had to take it. Uh, a lot of people, the some people in my life, um, I depend on for their um, motivation, for their advice. You know, like I, I really just depend on it. And those certain people were not behind me on this. And um, and I say that, and it wasn't because they didn't want, they don't want me to excel. It's because it's so far away. You know, if you watch my videos, you know I'm on the East Coast, okay? And it's and this opportunity is on the West Coast. And because it's so far away, they felt like it wasn't a good idea because there was no guarantees. Um, it wasn't like they were guarantee this place is guaranteeing me a job, you know. So they um felt like it wasn't a good idea, whatever. And I say this just to, to let y'all know, and I know I, I probably said this before in my other videos, is that when you want things, you have to be self-motivated. You have to motivate yourself. And you cannot let other people's fears become your fears. And yes, I ain't gonna lie, it was a scary thing. Like, I took all the money that I pretty much had for this trip um, that I had saved up. I took that for this trip, um, and uh, I invested in myself. I went out on faith, um, and I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. But uh, it was kind of um, rough because I had, even though I was praying for the opportunity, at the same time I had people I love kind of praying against me, kind of just like, who I feel was praying against me not to, um, actually have it or whatever. But, um, for the things I just had to think about, you know, like, um, for the things I want, I cannot stay still. You have to go places. You have to meet people. You have to experience things. Um, 
and it's a scary process. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I wasn't, you know, afraid. It, I was, it was, I was just so I was nervous and stuff because it's the West Coast, um, and I know it's different from where I was coming from. You know what I'm saying? And um, but I kept replaying what Bill Cosby, a quote from Bill Cosby, which was um, which is, you have to decide that you want it more than you are afraid of it. So whatever it is in your life that you want. Whatever it is, you have to decide that you want it more than you fear having it, you know? Because I think sometimes we want things in life, but we're so afraid to get up off of that couch, or we're so afraid to leave that room, or, you know, or to leave that state that we never get it, you know? So you just have to, um, and what I realized too, you know? It, you know, thinking about stuff sometimes is harder than actually doing it, you know. And this right here, honestly, I always wanted, you know, if I was presented the opportunity on the West Coast, well, you know, would I go? And, I, you know, you always say in your head what you would do. But then I realized from this experience what I would do and I did what was necessary for me to do, which was to take the opportunity and just do it because I might not get this again. It's a big opportunity. Like I said, great company. And I might not get this opportunity again. I can show y'all letters, re rejection letters that I, that, that I keep getting, you know, and, um, and I, and the thing is too, there's no way I can complain about not being able to climb the ladder, you know, of, um, you know, getting better jobs and stuff. There's no way I can complain about not getting them if I had gave up this opportunity. You know what I'm saying? If I gave up this opportunity, I can't complain. <laughs> you know, I can't say that if I gave up the opportunity, I couldn't say, oh, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do. It wouldn't be true, you know? But now I can honestly say that I'm doing everything that I can do to succeed, to get where I want to get. And um, and I don't know what's going to become of this, but there was no way that I could just give it up. And I just think it was just incredible how it happened all of a sudden. And then money came through for me. And um, time came through for me. It was just, it was like, God, and sometimes I think it happens, like, that God just, like, kind of, um, like, the universe just kind of shifted or something, just so, you know, to make way for you to do something, you know, and, um, and I think that's what happened, and it was a big breakthrough, I think, no matter what, it was a breakthrough for me as a person, and I know now that I can do anything that I put my mind to. And you can do anything that you put your mind to, you know. You have to invest in yourself. And you have to not let fear overtake you, you know. Um, and I had a lot of fears. I'm like, you know, I'm just not going to fit in. I'm not going to be, you know, I have a certain view of the West Coast and stuff. I'm not going to lie. So I'm just like, I might not fit in. And... I'm a little country, and they probably rock and roll, you know, so it was, like, stuff like that, but they were really great and stuff, and, um, yeah, so that happened or whatever, so I, I guess I just say that to let you know, you know, just, um, invest in yourself, don't be so afraid to do the things you want to do out of life, because at the end of the day, when you take those chances and stuff, you know, you don't want to have regrets in your life, I think this would, if I didn't do it, it would have been a huge regret, it would have been a huge regret, so, um, yeah, uh, that's what happened, and I'm not gonna, I can't really let y'all know, you know, I don't want to say too much about it, because I haven't heard anything from them, you know, yet, and, um, but when I do, and I'm able to, you know, I'll let y'all know about it. But I feel like it was something else I wanted to say, but I'm so tired. I've been just so tired and stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to say right now.
But you know what? Y'all let me know what you think about if you think it was kind of a crazy thing to do or would you actually do that? You know, it was it's no guarantee. Say if you you are presented with the opportunity of a lifetime doing whatever it is that you want to do, um, but there's no guarantee in it. Would you still do it? Would you take the chance on it? Um, and really think about that. Because I think some people don't know. Like, you really don't know things, though, until you get in that position. You know? Because a part of you is just like, you know, should I really do this? You know? And um, you just have to... I guess you just have to be in that situation. But I'm at 1045 now. I had something else I wanted to tell y'all about the whole thing, but I can't think right now. Oh, I hate that. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about it. And I hate when I do that. Oh, well, if anyone hasn't told you today, <laughs> I love you very much. And have a beautiful day. And by the way, thanks to all my new subscribers. I will get around to subscribing to everyone. Yeah, I know what I wanted to say. Which was um, as much as like some people may have not given me the support that I wanted. I had people who I never imagined like come through for me. You know, like I had, um, I told you I'm not, I'm really not that good. Like at interviews and stuff, but one of my friends, you know, she was just so supportive. I don't think she would ever know how supportive she was of me. Like it just completely just changed. I just, I just didn't feel like I was just like, do I deserve this? Because she was just so there for me, you know? And she sat down with me, and we went over interview questions. She was just preparing me. And that was the first time, honestly, that I had ever really repaired, uh, repaired, <laughs> prepared for, you know, like an interview like that. Took my time out, um, got my portfolio and stuff together, you know. And, um, like, she really, I, I, as, as much as maybe I didn't have people there that I wanted to be there, I had people there who stepped up to, like, the ultimate like and was just there for me listening to me um uh pushing me to just to 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 do me to succeed you know and I had people that who was really behind me and just stepped up in a way that I never I never really had people outside of my family that were there for me like they were there for me you know and it just I just remember like just wanting to like I remember actually just like crying about it because it was just like amazing to me of uh, uh the support that they gave me um <clears throat> during this whole thing yeah so it was um that was what I wanted to say <laughs> that um I did have a lot of people there who uh, a few people there that <clears throat> that had my back so yeah